So now I guess one of the most common uh, ones is hernia. And hernia has different types of hernia. And as I was going through uh, everything that uh, we do with CRIAS and in the surgery center, I had to learn a lot in these. It's not just the terms that I learned, but also I learned exactly what needs to be done and how it's been done. Scrubbing several times with you guys was, uh, was an amazing experience. So now if we were to understand what hernia is, how do we determine the hernia surgery and when do you decide to do that surgery in what uh, conditions? Sure. So there's different types of hernias, number one, and a hernia is basically a hole in the muscle. And so what happens is something from the inside of the abdomen is protruding through this hole. Mm -hmm. So there's different types of hernias. We'll start from the top. One is hiatal hernia, and that's a hernia that goes through the hole of the diaphragm. So it usually goes to the hole where the esophagus comes through into the abdomen to connect with your stomach. And a hiatal hernia, the reason you would operate on that is if you have intractable reflux, acid reflux, that just is not getting better with medications. Sometimes people have ulcers that bleed because their stomach is getting strangulated from that hiatal hernia. And other times it's just the stomach is flipped up on itself and it's causing an obstruction. Mm -hmm. And so we basically have to operate on that so that people can actually eat again, swallow, and maintain their weight.